Ramvir and I, we've been so excited. We're not allowed to, obviously, but we'd love to try it on. Although I have to say, fit. I'm not sure I'd fit it. She seems to have the tiniest waist in the world. Hilary Alexander, fashion journalist. I bet this is a feast for your idea. Oh, it's for your eyes too, isn't it? It's fabulous. And Take what us I, around, yeah. What I love particularly here, though, is yes. the film star glamour. Because this is all sort of from the 50s and really, really incredibly Beautiful glamorous. Beautiful nipped in ways, yes. flowing out skirts. Quite new look. It was sort of following on from Christian Deal's new look. Mm. Nipped in waist, full skirt. And talking about full skirts mm. and flowing skirts, there's a danger of that if you're a member of the royal family, isn't it? Because a gust of wind can reveal things uh -huh. you don't want to. I'm just looking at this yes. beautiful yellow day dress here in silk. I know it's one of her favourite fabrics. Right. Now, a gust of wind could be a problem for normal, mere mortals, couldn't it? Yes, but the Queen has a secret. Ah. Weights in the hem. There little metal weights yeah. in the hem, and it stops the dress from blowing up and creating a Marilyn Monroe moment. <laughs> well, yes. And also the other thing I find is that, obviously, she does a lot of sitting and standing and getting mm -hmm. in and out of cars, and any normal dress would get creased, but you never see her. No. I mean, did she have someone up with a steamer no, right no, behind no, no. her that we never see? How she's very, very careful with her choice of fabric, and oh, she's involved oh. with the design all the way through from sketch stage. Is she knows she? the fabrics and she knows what will travel well, what will increase. So is this, this isn't a royal uniform, because sometimes you get the impression, don't mm. you, when, when you see the Queen, how much is it really her? It's not really royal uniform, it is her personal taste, is it? It is, totally. Here? And mm. I think she's developed a completely unique style. I mean, you, it, it's beyond fashion. Yes. Because it's always appropriate for the occasion mm. and it's flattering. And can I just ask you, I mean, do you get a sense that she likes fashion? Oh, yes. Or does she just do it because she has to, oh, do you no, think? I mean, look at these clothes. Yeah. Look at them. And she's very, very careful when she's on a tour to make sure that she chooses a colour that matches um, the national flag. Mm -hmm. And very often the embroidery features a national symbol. Like on a royal tour of Canada, for example, it was the maple leaf. I think we've she... got it over here, actually. Yes. I'm asking Paul John, our cameraman, to rush around. <laughs> but it's just over here, that, that maple leaf. It's very, very beautiful, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it the pink one? And oh, no, also, that was, that's the no, peony. just here. It's that's just the peony here. from China. There you go. There's the maple leaf. Yeah. And then we've got an Australian the feature wattle. on that one, the, the wattle, wattle there. Yeah. And she loves blue. I understand that's her favourite colour. I think it? it's one of her favourites. And you notice when she um, went to the Middle East, one of the Middle East state tours, yeah. it's quite kind of Middle Eastern Are you in talking style, about the, the blue, blue one? with oh, a kind yeah. of turban. Well, the turban she really went for, didn't she? Yes, you... in the earlier. Yes. Turbans and pillboxes, sort of through the 50s and, and the 60s. And then more recently, it's off the, the brim, yeah. is always off the face so that Brainy. people can see her. I mean, yeah. Hilary, we much, must have said, of course, you were here for your OBE. This you not see not this all in person. <laughs> 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 the style. Congratulations to you. Oh, thank you very much. It's the fourth year of my uh, charity golf day. Um, uh, luckily, it was raining yesterday. It's, it's beautiful here at the moment. So we're trying to raise some money for the Matt Hampson da Foundation, which helps people who serve um, suffer catastrophic injuries through uh, through sport and also the rugby.